ਖਾਣਾ ਹੋਮ ਲੈਕਸ ਹੋ ਜੇ Mr. Descent, good to see you. What's that you from? Yes, yes sir. sir. I was so What up, homie? Do any of you ladies like wearing clown face? Bas <laughs> bas hai. I am so yeah, yeah. hot for you baby. Who wanna head to the back? Wanna go in the back with me baby? You don't know what you're missing dickhead. Want to dance in the back? Hey, 
Hey, you want a private dance? Can you ask the DJ to play some hardcore? कहाँ गया मादर तो You serious, bro? Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Who's Leon? So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad? Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. <laughs> the, the big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. See if there's any. Hey, we are taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Already. So this is how you drive, right? That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. White again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? More uh, Well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. You mentioned a uh, job before, something like a 
help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy. You're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! 1330, one hour down, two to go. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. You are flying in restricted airspace. Turn around immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah. Uh, I guess. But not yet. They're too far ahead. Get closer. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Work here. 
here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Mira, tengo que ir a ver, tengo que ir a Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! There's your big asshole. Hover above it while I record what we need. I need to be above, shooting down into it. Uh, providing either of these ways into the bank 
Okay, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester Plant in it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope we hold it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't <laughs> ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. I'm really, really oh, sorry. That hurt. What the fuck? Let's go, quick. Ah!
Hi, Bray. Hey, we still on for that Manny Petty? Oh, just fuck oh, that Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! <clears throat> you do not sit on couches, you take <sighs> scores! You're back, man. We are back! All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man! And make some money. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'M YOUR FUCKING NIGHTMARE! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! कहीं गाड़ी चला रहा चुरा के लेके Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. 
Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Oh. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot! 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 I'm sorry, Trevor. in the plane. What the fuck is that?
North Yankton, Ludendorff. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. Oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there! Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. Yo, Andy. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. <laughs> So, who are your pals, Trevor? Stop the man! Go find it! Shams! Look at the other one! You may Hey, you got the wrong guy! You don't want to die! Me and 
Trevor, which Well, soon it's a yellow Let's have a talk. What is that boy? Now you die. Get out of the bed. Find it. He's here. Masama. There. Where are you? Oh, that's not it. We need to find one trip forward. Who are your friends, T? Jana, who is this? Mister, we won't hurt you. Shang Jian Jin. You been followed. Jian Jin. You can't run. I can see you. He's in there. You may. Hey, go fuck yourself! कार को जाना है लेकिन जाने के लिए रास्ता नहीं। नहीं मैं ये सिर्फ सुबह। Your pals, Trevor. Get out of the vent. Find it. He's here. Where are you, Mister? We just want to talk. Change in. You can't run. There is nowhere to hide. You can't run. There is nowhere to Then Sir Mishra. Hun Dan. You must be in there. They were going no. Phillips went that away. Come on. Oh. 
不允许失败。哦，哎 ，back up， 小心！我他妈的一定要打死你 ！You are going nowhere, Mister. He's getting away. 他中枪了！我现在都不打。人头送给菲利普。哎 ，You got the wrong guy！ 我他妈的！这狗娘养的！马上把他抓起来！我这里战况很激烈。我要送你去见阎罗。Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit！ 我没子弹了。Hey, can we do this where the weather's better? 我讨厌下雪。我们前进吧。该补助子弹了。Don't act up. We know your secret. You're making a mistake. We won't hurt you. We want the husband. You're way off, assholes. 救命啊 ！Put down the weapon. Hey, go fuck yourself! We know you're weak and feminine. You're out of your element. Give yourself up. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. You guys are all gonna die. Surrender, please. Phillips went that away. Oh, hey, back off! You don't want to die. He's getting away. Mother. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? We got you, you idiot. You no good, man. Hey, you got the wrong guy. We're in danger. We're in danger. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Boyfriend Ron, he no care about you. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? This is it for you. I ain't got anything against you people. You're making a mistake. You're way off, assholes. Fuck off! Don't die for your lover. Hey, go fuck yourself! They're more busy than me. Damn him up! I'm gonna send you to the Yellow Wall. You're out of your element. Don't act tough. We know your secret. You are going nowhere, Mister. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. We're going down. I'm going to kill you. Go, Nyan Yan. Phillips went that way. I'm not a bullet. Trevor, you did. 混蛋！哦，好了，好了。Oh, 
hey, back off! He's getting away! Hey, you got the wrong guy! Good. I won't. How many guys you send up here? Come on. You are screwed. Give it up. Fuck up, you confused pieces of shit. We got you, you idiot. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? You're making a mistake! You're way off, assholes! Well, so need to get yellow. Go, Niao Yang. Fuck off! Another van. <laughs> okay. Oh, you forgot to check the train schedule. <laughs> Hey, go fuck yourself! So, who are your pals, Trevor? Stop the man! Go find us! Don't! Where are you, mister? We just don't want to talk. Change in! He's getting away! 
It's just me and you. Hunta. Oh. They are all dead. Fuck off. You started this. Four of you? Really? Put down the weapon. Yourself. 
了你们！啊啊啊啊啊、Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. Hey, you got the wrong guy. It's just me and you. More vans, of course. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Yeah, the ex nut backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes. Thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. So I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Ah, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up? For his safety. <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right. It's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Friend. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Oh yeah, massive E head. Backed out a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. We've been watching you, Phillips. 
Your operations causes problems with our plans for expansion. And since you're not a viable business partner... Oh, viable? What the fuck is that? We have your lover, Phillips, from the trailer. My lover? Yes, Michael DeSanta. You live with him with your maid. He's in our custody now. Give yourself up, and he will live. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah, no, of course, man. That's a, that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor, and feel free to torture him to your heart's content. You'll save me the trouble.
dying only inches. What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That bitch was pristine, bitch. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. My favorite gangbangers. That's teamwork, motherfucker. Boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Dang what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep in your ass. Stop talking, nigga. <laughs> some boss. Hey, man, what that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement <laughs> euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck! 
Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Frank would know, yeah, but let's Frank. just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am <laughs> some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut <laughs> up. Man, the first time's yeah, always special. Right I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. Hey, you my dude, right? It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. Your wounds ain't healed. You're such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your <laughs> pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. 
Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha! So that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kind of work. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. So, tell me, man, what, what about you and Frank? Oh, hell no, nah, homie. It ain't like that. We ain't like y'all. You know, niggas don't get out like that. I mean, one time we was both fucking this bitch, and I was about to go in, and we kind of, like, touched dicks, but... Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB-700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie.
Vas-y. I thought you said the coast was clear when you boosted it, Lamar. It was. They sneaky uh -huh. motherfuckers. Them police. <laughs> Come on, CEO. Deal with the one time. Mr. Clinton, where are you? We're coming up to GOA. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a rise to the truck stop at Bacopio. Roger that. Hey, I'ma speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing.
Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see, his phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now, nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Franklin card, yeah, yeah. Mission. F, F, F. Let's go for a long wait. Six miles. Six point four miles. Hey, you just turned this into a buck!
bit of a cover here. Get the break! Oh, almost like that. Uh, We are women, we are free, we're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women, hear our pains. We are women, hear our shout. We are women, we have no doubt. We are women, we are free. Shut the fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? What's up, homie, huh? Oh, what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend no. makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! Nah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh! Fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm fucking asshole! Oh! Fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you alright? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have. Fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron huh. met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! <laughs> mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> it's been a minute. Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you, he ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him. Hey, Kevin hey. Phillips oh. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hey, hey, hey! Where's your humanity? Let's go. Ugh. Oh, what 
drink. मिल गया You got a 
an old white dude that don't belong to you. Michael, you in here, man? Hey, Michael! Michael! Where you at, bro? Hey, what it got you, man? In case you ain't figured out, I ain't paying no rent. Michael! So you Michael, go! Where you at? You want me to waste the boyfriend? There's more guys coming from down there. Pull me a gun. There you go. You was right about more coming. They got you locked down. Holster it. What the hell? Yes, this one is good now. Oh, I got one too. You want to go? Oh, shit! Come on, pick yourself up. We're getting out of here.
We going out this way. Woman, do still son of stupid sons of bitches. Hey, yo, beef with Trevor Phillips. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you these. Fuck, they're coming after us. Don't worry, dog. We dropped them. That we got a lot of you assholes. Just sit tight, dog, while I lose them. See ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the phase. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. 
You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. But hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. गाड़ी भी नहीं है like a tough guy. A couple real badasses put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a you deal okay? with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. It's a pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? Let me rock up.
I guess I didn't make it clear to you at the clock! We're connected! This is how you do business? That's on you, dickwad! I got it, I got it. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Surprise me. Pass on my panic card to come.
To leave the garage. Man, I love the internet. एक नंबर I love bikes. I can't help myself. क्या मिशन है? Stranger than fiction. Ah, let's. 
What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. Think <laughs> I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. Period. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Hey, my car is going to be a bike. Take us to the bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by... ...finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. You should be coming out here soon. Here we go. That's not it. 
So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? This is not the no, car no, we're no, looking no, for. No, no, no. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Something's coming. Nope. Nah. There she is. Let's go. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Pura traffic will follow that Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one in between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. What's going on, my dude? Okay, sir. Where light I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Hello. How are you? Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Hey, man. Yeah, but it better be worth my time. Hello. Go in and Shit. have a word, Harvey Molina. Oh, you saw my ad on Craigslist. Hey, Malin. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Whatever Sorry, you want to um, do to me. I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus.
You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, huh, he's already here. Hey, oh, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dying bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, yeah. totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Up here I go. Why am I still doing the grunt work?
The family. What was that? It's so cool. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really <laughs> like, it's not because they're gay. So lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the <laughs> so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just <laughs> winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. Mom said she was Family at the drama. machine. Hey, mira, bike, hey, Anne. Bike, kid. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know stuff. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to them. Oh, Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more bull. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being. I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh. That's my son. Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. Couple of ready? I ain't gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, I, I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst hey. eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. Yeah, I heard Enrique. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a 
depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh, <sighs> come on, my punk days are long behind me, man. Yes. Ah. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Oh. Ah. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God. Papa Bear, what's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I would have brought a camera crew. Mommy. Ah, you butcher! Right. You really don't want me to slip. Ugh. Ah, let me get to work. Ugh. How about I throw <laughs> all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah. Oh. There we go. Oh. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, oh no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? <laughs> it's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad end. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in you a douche? What the what's in our best interest kind of good? Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rock somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! it. Do, do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you.
señor, por qué organiza la nene. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? <laughs> no way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Yeah, progress. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Scamp. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog rocker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that <laughs> thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining oh, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jesus. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed, and don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. 
or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Oh, finally home. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Uh, uh, uh hello? What? Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Who are you? I'm supposed to sign off on all new hires. 
He's got a weapon. Call 911. Get him away from me. What the? Protect me from him. Today is reporting at 245 and Philbox Hill. Ambulance in route. Come on, then. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking the fall.
cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay? Oh. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single... McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. 
We'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Hey, what's up, my dude? Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Now you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. This is the I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car, that's him. Fuck, he's on you. Let's go. Now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy! You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very they shouldn't let old people drive cars. Hey there. I'm sorry this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah, guys from the strip clubs, use hookers. Hey, 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 that ain't me anymore. She's a lovely young woman. You've done a great job. Yeah, well, it's hard raising kids in this town. Come here, scumbag. I didn't ask for Psycho Dad. We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. 
It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Big Daddy in the house! Ugh. There's a reason why most people haven't heard of fucking Kale. Ugh. 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 Kale's a disgusting weed. Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, see you next time, guys.